Hey, welcome back. The sun bug missed me, so it called me here to fix it. It does not want to start. It's sporting some new vanity plates. Looking nice and shined up. I'm gonna jack it up quick and test the starter. Your car's not starting and you think it's the starter. May not be. Jump the solenoid to the battery terminal and see if the car will crank. Let's see. Starter is good. We have an interlock switch problem. Let's see what this thing is doing. We got in neutral. There's no neutral safety switch on this, so we could crank it and start it. Nothing. But we got the fastened belt light. If you remember when I redid these seats, the seat switches have been removed and they have been bypassed. But the relay that still runs the interlock system is still in this car and was still functioning up to this point. That relay is no longer available. People sell used ones. So in order to get this thing going, we are going to bypass that interlock relay. It's wired into the door jam switches the seat belt buckles and the now missing seat switches. All right, with the multimeter, I'm just gonna quickly check all these fuses to make sure they have continuity. And so far they all do, I believe them to be good. So we gotta take a look in the luggage compartment at that relay that powers the interlock. Okay, here is our seat belt relay underneath here. It out. This controls the interlock for the starter. And it's got a bunch of terminals on here. The seat switches, the seat buckles, and the door pin switches all lead through this. Now the trouble is, they don't make this anymore. Everybody's selling used ones for 30 bucks or more, 50 bucks, I've seen them all over the place. So we are going to jump this out and see if the car will start. I'm gonna look up to see which terminals we have to bypass. I believe it's 50 and C. The terminals you need to jump are 50 and C. That should bypass this and give you the ability to crank the engine with the key. Okay, we got a little jumper wire put into the fuse block over there. I had to snip the ears off the solderless terminal so that we get a little deeper sliding down. So let's go and crank it now and see if it will start. No seatbelt light because it's gone. Here we go. Success. So sometimes you think you need a starter and you do not, especially on anything that's from 1974. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you. Please give it a thumbs up and a like and subscribe.